Hi everybody, today we're just going to add a text bubble uh, for uh, Pixel Crusher's dialogue system above an NPC's head. Uh, the things I already have set up on this is I already have the NPC, uh, the prefab unpacked in there. So you will have to do that if you haven't already unpacked the prefab, you will have to do that. Uh, I already have a dialogue set up. We're going to say hello. She's going to say you want to fight. We're going to say hell no because she would mess us up. Uh, and then we've already, from the last tutorial, we already have a response menu on our left controller uh, that we're going to use to interact with her. Uh, so things we need, and this is going to be really, really simple. Uh, we're going to take and we're going to type in bubble. And it's going to be this last one. It's going to be the standard UI subtitle panel. We're going to drag that in here. Uh, kind of see that up our, there already we have our always face camera i believe we need to rotate 180 degrees on that we will see uh we have it's already the size i want on that you can always change that if you'd like uh, i've never seen a need to actually add the event camera it gives you this warning i haven't seen any difference when i add it or not uh, let me know in the comments if it does make a difference and I just haven't seen it. Uh, under the character, we're going to add an actor component. So dialogue actor. We're going to make sure that dialogue actor is the NPC. We're going to go to the subtitle panel number. We're going to go to custom and we're going to drag this in there. And just so we can actually see um, it up there for a little bit, uh, we I did put a delay on this. So otherwise, it just disappears way too quickly. You know, you don't even have any chance to really see it. Uh, and under cube, we do have a dialogue system trigger um, on start to start that conversation. So let's see what happens when we get in there. Yeah, so hello. There we go. You want to fight? No, we don't. All right. I'm going to say hell no. That's it. What's up? I really like these new hands for VRF. Uh, this is the other thing, too, is getting it's showing 90 frames per second. That's awesome. All right, so that's it. I mean, it's that freaking simple. Uh, but we're going to keep doing these things. So uh, just subscribe, hit the notification bell for our next video on, you know, using these different assets that have accumulated in Unity's. Everybody have a wonderful day.